at 94, I think I am simply so aware of the passage of time that I resent even having to sleep. What would I like the current Boilermaker members to know about the implications of that period and what it did to me and others like me? I think I would have wanted to have my worth as a human being appreciated not only by, by the Boilermakers, but by society. There is one thing that needs to be said. A half hour drive just across the bay sits the Rosie the Riveter Museum. The museum rests on the site of the former Kaiser shipyard where thousands of boilermakers, many of them women, worked alongside other trades to build more than 700 Liberty and Victory ships in support of the war effort in the 1940s. Kaiser shipyards ran three shifts around the clock, 364 days a year, only with Christmas off. Henry Kaiser would bring in a workforce of 98,000 black and white Southerners who are not going to be sharing drinking fountains, schools, hospitals, housing. So there were black projects and there were white projects. I never did see a ship under construction, nor did I ever see a ship being launched. I was simply changing addresses on three by five file cards in a Jim Crow segregated union hall. We were outside. Working at the Rosie the Riveter Museum is a woman named Betty, who is 94, is the oldest full-time national park ranger in the United States. Now, Betty was once a boilermaker, but she was relegated to an auxiliary local, a lodge created for non-whites. When I was 20, I saw the Constitution of the Bill of Rights as being my guarantors of my rights. I have grown into a time where I see them as only blueprints, blueprints with which each generation has to recreate democracy or it will die. We have made progress as a nation in treating each other as equals, but there is much, much more to do. On behalf of the International Brotherhood of Boilermakers. I offer Betty and all former Boilermakers who at one time belonged to an auxiliary local an apology for what must have been a demeaning life experience. I think the Boilermakers need to know that it's now been at least 70 years since I was that 20-year-old clerk in that Jim Crow segregated union hall. And I did that to save the world for democracy, and as you can see, it worked. <laughs> I forgave you long ago, but I've never really had the feeling that we were on the same page until just a few moments ago. Thank you very much. Thank you. Where we are now is a far cry from where we were in 1942. But I think that if we could go back and revisit those eras that we move through so fast, the lessons are there. <laughs>